y'all it's lex welcome back to my channel i am here today to show you guys how i shop for designer furniture dupes using a chrome browser it is a quick easy trick well it's quick to use it may take you a little while to do your furniture hunting but this trick never fails me i've been using it for a few years now especially with buying furniture for my new home i don't know if you can use this in a safari browser i've only tried this in a chrome browser I don't know if you can use it in any other browsers. I just recommend that you use Chrome, but I'm gonna show you how I found the love seat that I'm sitting on today. I love this piece of furniture. It gave me all the energy that I was looking for and it really didn't break the bake. And it's been a great investment and great piece of furniture for us here in our new home. So if you're interested in seeing how I shop for designer furniture dupes, just keep watching. Welcome to my Chrome browser. We are going to start off on article.com with my inspiration this very beautiful tan or cognac colored sofa i've been in love with this this trend so here you see this sofa i love the color of it i loved the way it looked in the, the inspo pictures the dimensions of this particular couch were perfect and the price of this couch actually isn't that bad but i was able to find a similar one for a lower price so starting with your inspiration photo you want to right click and select search Google for this image. Once the page loads, you want to scroll down the page past the article links to the section that says show all images and click. Now Google is showing us couches that are being advertised that it views as similar to the one we searched for. We can go through a number of these to compare them to the designer couch that we're trying to dupe. I'm just gonna open up a few of these here and then we'll go through them one by one. Before we go through the individual tabs, I want to point out that as you scroll down the page, you can see images of similar couches. If you click these images, you can go to the website where they're located and also check them out. The ads are convenient, but don't sleep on scrolling down the page. Now moving back up to the tabs and the ads that we've selected, I wanna show you how I determine good buys from bad buys when shopping online. So we see here we have this cognac leather sofa from Urban Home. It looks like a beautiful piece of furniture. It looks just like one of those pieces that we saw on article.com. Just for comparison, I wanna remind you that the article sofa is $1,900. Potential dupe number one is $1,600, so there is a bit of a price savings there, but nothing major. You can also see from this page that shipping is estimated at $90. I didn't put in any shipping information, so I'm guessing that might be a flat rate. You can also see from here that there are no customer reviews on this piece of furniture. That always makes me feel a bit more leery about making the purchase, but someone has to be the first to purchase it, right? So once I look at their customer reviews, the shipping. I always go and look at the return policy. This is probably one of the most important parts of shopping online. I need a return policy that's pretty flexible because if I don't want this piece of furniture, I'm going to send it back, trust and believe. So looking at this particular policy, you can see they only give you 15 days from the date of receipt to return it. I don't know if that means to actually like put it in the mail to return it or to have them receive it. Either way, that's not enough time for me. I prefer a 30 to 60 day return policy and we stand a money back guarantee. That's what I'm looking for when I'm shopping online. And it's even more important in this instance because there are no customer reviews for this particular piece of furniture. This one's definitely an L for me, but let's move on to the next option. Prospective dupe number two comes from Urban Outfitters. It is this modular, low sitting sofa. I've seen these everywhere. They look super comfy, super boho, which is definitely my aesthetic. The thing about modular sofas that I think people forget is that each piece is sold and priced separately. So the left armchair is 650, the armless chair is 600. The ottoman is 480 and the right armchair is 650. So by the time that you've added all of those numbers together, 
you're looking at something around $2,300 or $2,400. So this sofa is actually more expensive than what we've seen on article. Are we surprised by Urban Outfitters? No, ma'am. But that's not going to stop us from checking this one out. So we can see that this sofa is sold online only, that it's in short supply. It's estimated to ship in January to allow two to four weeks for delivery and that there are two reviews. And these reviews have pretty low stars. Um, I always like to read reviews just to make sure people aren't tripping. Sometimes they are. But what I consistently see in these reviews is that the couch is really low which I think is obvious from the photo and from this style of sofa. So if you don't like that style of sofa, I don't know why you would look at this, but that's neither here nor there. Moving right along, potential dupe number three is from Macy's. Macy's is running a sale right now. It's offering financing and also Klarna. So if you're a person who likes to split up payments, this might be a good look for you. They've got this sofa in two colors. It's got three out of five stars with one review. This item is not currently in stock, but it does come with a protection plan. Now let's check out the reviews. This item has one review, which says that the color of this sofa is actually chocolate and not the orange that's advertised in the picture. That would make this sofa a no for me, but just for the sake of going through the process, we'll look at the shipping and returns policy, which are major key. Macy's has a 90 day return policy. Their return policy is extended through the holiday season. There is a specific policy for furniture and they may allow an exchange. Now let's look at the furniture policy itself. The buyer bears the cost of the return and there is a return fee that is deducted from your refund. The buyer bearing the cost of the return is pretty normal. There are a few places that don't have that charge which I think is a perk but the return fee it depends on the particular seller moving on to potential dupe number four this leather sofa is from all modern which is a Wayfair brand I love shopping with Wayfair and Wayfair brands they have the best customer service the description tells us that this is a genuine leather sofa it's on sale 47% off right now and it is in stock for delivery this sofa has over a thousand reviews we check them out. There's photos. I love seeing what the furniture piece looks like in people's home and different lighting. You can also read these reviews. This does not appear to be the type of furniture for a person with pets. I think that's kind of normal when it comes to leather, but it looks beautiful in this home. Aside from the pet owner's reviews, this looks like a pretty decent piece of furniture. Most people really like it. It looks great in these photos. It looks great in different sources of lighting. It gives me that tan orange color from my inspiration piece that I really love. If you're someone who does not have children or pets, this might be a good buy for you. Another thing that I love about Wayfair brands is that they show you similar items in your search. So you can scroll down the page and see other options that they think you might be interested in based on your current search. It's actually super helpful, super useful, and saves a lot of time if you're a person who likes shopping on Wayfair or with other Wayfair brands. Just for example, this Wayfair sofa showed up in the ads on our similar images search page. It is more expensive and it is actually a sectional, but it has great reviews. It's got free in-home delivery and it is in stock. You can get it both right and left facing, and it looks gorgeous in these photos. People really seem to love this piece of furniture. And while it's not cheaper than our article inspo, it is a whole sectional for nearly the same price. Our next potential dupe is also from All Modern. It is this $1,000 Corbin sofa. It is faux leather. My couch is also faux leather. It's on sale 33% off and the color is described as honey tan. There are 122 reviews with photos. It's got a 4.6 rating out of five. The photos look really awesome. It looks like it fits in a lot of different settings. Really boho chic. This would be a piece that would catch my attention if I were looking for this dupe. 
Checking out the reviews is a great way to get an idea of how the furniture piece might look in your home, but you want to make sure you know the dimensions, you know the style of the legs, you know whether or not it comes with pillows. Those things are crucial in purchasing online. Now I will show you guys the particular furniture provider where I bought my sofa in Love Seat. It's a small company called Albany Park. I discovered this company after searching for an image I'd found on Pinterest. I knew the style I wanted for my home. I just needed to find a reasonable price for that furniture. I was able to purchase both the sofa and the love seat for a total cost of $1,300 during the Memorial Day sale. A few reasons why I chose to go with this particular seller was that the furniture was vegan. It was a small business. I always try to support small business when I can. The dimensions of this couch were deep. It was perfect and one of the main reasons why I chose the sofa. It didn't have many reviews, but the reviews it had were really great. And the furniture was pretty easy to assemble and was packaged really, really well. And they show you that in the videos on their website. I think this sofa is a great dupe for the article furniture. Like I said, that article piece isn't that expensive, but it's always great to find a deal. And you can do this with any piece of furniture, with clothing. Um, just for an example, I'm gonna take this mid-century modern table. I'm gonna search for it in Google Images and see what I can find as far as dupes are concerned. Like I said, this is super clutch. You can do this with clothing, accessories, furniture, whatever it is that you're looking for. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks. I really appreciate your support. Comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried this trick out before, if you have any other tricks that help you find designer furniture dupes. I know another trick that I've used before is the similar images tab on Pinterest, every once in a while, it'll, it'll have a come through for me, but Google's always the come through king when it comes to finding good sales and new, new brands to try out. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have makeovers and more content just like this coming. Be sure to let me know down below what type of content you're looking forward to on my channel. I really appreciate y'all's support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.